Hello and welcome back to Scale War Machines. We've got another review for you. This is another reference from the high quality tool manufacturer RP Tools. The company is based in Hungary and we've already reviewed a number of their products. This reference is the RP Tools cutter tool. It's a mitre cutter basically. You can obviously make straight right angle cuts and it was loaned to us to review by Hysterex Agents. Hysterex Agents stocks all the RP Tools range. They're really very high quality tools. Every experience we've had reviewing them has been positive. So we're really keen to see a little bit more about this cutting tool and find out what it's like. It certainly feels heavy. So let's take a look inside the box. As with all their references, you get a sturdy cardboard box, which is great to store the tool in. What we'd say right off the bat is this is one of the most expensive tools we've ever been sent to review. But on the other hand, all the RP tools stuff we've looked at, their rivets makers and punch and die sets, for example, their photo etched tools and bending devices, even their recent painting handles have been really excellent. So I guess the test for us will be whether we invest our money and actually buy this. And that's what we'll be especially interested to see. So let's take it out of its housing. There it is. You get an Allen key as well, which you can see there. Oh, a spare blade as well, that's useful. So we'll pop those there. And there it is. So a quick tour around. It's obviously made out of anodized aluminium. It feels very, very well built. Underneath you've got some felt pads, a hex, a screw that clearly attaches the main shopping component. Uh, the hex key is evidently used to undo and replace the blades and they do look proprietary. They look like the standard sort of razor blades you can get, but they've clearly got the the top bit removed so they may be proprietary or they may not I'm not entirely sure there you can see those two hex screws in addition you've got these knurled rings that enable you to operate the various components of the tool it does feel very hefty and consequential and it's clearly got in this little cutting mat that's built into the structure and there's already a groove cut this basically is a fence or stop block, I suppose you could call it, that enables you to set different lengths for your chopping and you can clearly undo it and reattach it on the other side. When the tool is set like this, you can obviously make straight right angle cuts. But as you can see here, you can also set angles. It's got pre-marked indentations here. I just removed the stop block stroke fence. You can see there you've got different angles that enable you in effect to go to a maximum of 45 degrees. There's a little mark on the side that enables you to line up the different angles. So the presets they've got are 45, 30, 22.5 and 15 degrees. But you've also got graduations in between for different angles. It's also worth noting You've also got on the actual guides here, you've actually got some measurements as well that will also help you to get precise measurements of your cuts. That's the basic anatomy of the tool. So first impressions are very well made. It's got lovely feel to it, engineered feel. There's clearly some sort of bushing in there that gives it a soft kind of action. It feels very precise. There's no adjustment that way or that way. So that is where the blade will always sit. The texture of the anodization and the color may not be to everyone's taste, but it feels really well done and very durable. To test the tool, we've got a selection of different types and shapes of plastic card or plastic materials. First up, we've got different thicknesses up to and beyond the maximum thickness that's recommended, which is two mil worth of plastic. To test it out, then we'll be using these. You can see that we've gone up to two mil. Then we've got also different profile shapes as well. We've got some round bits. We've also got some square profile. 
and so on. To show the angle and how we make them, we've got this which is left over from another project and we'll try and recreate those angles. There you can see the different thicknesses of plastic card. Get a good sense of the differences there. Those will be cut. Then these are the other shapes we've got. And finally some thinner material. And also where we think this will be really useful is chopping sprue, fine sprue, to make weld beads. We've got some simple instructions. Straight cutting, loosen the stop nut, that's this with this stop. This actually serves as a clamp as well, if you so wish. Make sure your fingers aren't in the way, obviously. When it comes to angled cutting, you're obviously going to loosen the fences and then set it at the desired angle. So let's start with a relatively thin plastic card and we're going to set it just to chop. Well, first of all, let's get a nice straight edge. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's very good. I'm going to set it for one centimeter or 10 mil. Tricky with the gloves. I'll set that there. I should be able to make repeatable cuts. And it should give nice 90 degree angle cuts. You can judge for yourself on the cleanliness of the cuts as I go along. Obviously you could also conceivably clamp the piece as it's suggested using this if you so wish. So if you just want to get a straight cut along that line, you can do that as well. So that makes sense and it handles that thickness which is about half a mil. Let's go for something a bit thicker. I'll go for a slightly thicker one there. Yep, handles that pretty easily as well. Easy, repeatable cuts. Let's just push the bar straight away and go for the maximum thickness. This is two mil. I'm just gonna change the angle to make the, uh, the blade length appropriate. Lock that down, let's see how it goes. Exerting quite a bit of force on two mil. Did have to exert plenty of force but it has given a nice clean cut all the way through it clearly at the top end of its capability the device is pretty precise as it comes out of the box but there is the potential to calibrate these elements even more carefully you can do that with a straight edge just make sure it's absolutely straight before locking it like so. And you could conceivably do the same with your angles. You can of course check it for precision. It's made a good job of chopping flat plastic cards. So let's try first of all just circular or round stock. Run that up to there. Keep your fingers away. Try something a little thicker, three and a half mil. This is hollow. You get the idea. Let's try with some angle. This is angle profile. I'm going to chop off the end. I'm going to set it to 45 degrees to make a box like structure. Okay, and if we set that one at a similar angle. gives you an idea of how you can quickly build up shapes. 
In terms of angles, let's say we want to make a little edge to go around this. We can take our material. That should give us a perfect angle. So if we wanted to make a boundary all the way around, we could do that very simply and very easily. Okay, that should have given you an idea of the capabilities of this. We'll just end by showing you what we think is a really useful potential end use for this. This is Slater's red sprue, very useful for making world seams. You can of course set the length if you so wish. The easiest way is just to pull it through using tweezers. So say you were scratch building something like armour plate and you wanted very regular weld seams of a set length, this would work well. Just zoom in there so you can see. This quality obviously comes at a price, but we could imagine this is the sort of tool that you would keep and use on a regular basis, particularly if you are a scratch builder or someone who regularly customises your models. More importantly, it's just a lovely tool to handle and operate. It would be a great addition to your collection. It's sturdy, it's strong, it feels weighty and high quality. It's a precision item. As you saw, it was able to do angles very easily and enable you to do really quite complex shapes for your scratch building. It's available now of course from Hysterex agents. Obviously this is not going to suit everyone's budget but part of the joy of model making is investing in really high quality tools that will last you throughout your hobby and this is certainly one of them. It's highly recommended and available now. Thanks for watching, hope you found this useful and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to our channel for regular updates on our new and latest videos. Bye for now! Subscribe for our latest videos.